Hello and welcome to another video of Kernel Sex Technology tutorial series. In this video, I will show you all of the features that Total Mountain have to offer. Kernel Sex Total Mountain is another free software that we have in our offer. Using it, you can mount practically almost any file type, including virtual burner, VHD file, or even iSCSI disk. As you may see, it has very easy to navigate user interface. On the top, we have big buttons that allows user easily open any necessary functions such as mounting new drive, refreshing devices, or asking help. Total Mounter is perfect choice for mounting ISO or other image file types as well as hard disk file types such as IMG or VHD as well as iSCSI targets that will allow you to directly mount an iSCSI target. Let me start with the first option we have here. I will start by creating and burning new ISO file. I will do it by mounting a CD DVD RW. Here we may specify if you want to create a new file or use already existing one, as well as choose if it would be a CD or DVD. I will choose CD and I will create a new file. I will name it CD test and press OK. Our new burner has been mounted, therefore I can access it from computer window. We can notice that burner is there. We can now try to open it and burn some data onto it using default Windows 7 burning software. From this window I need to choose disk title. I will choose CD test. And we need to select that we want to use it as CD DVD player and click next to continue. We can now notice that disk is completely empty, so we can just drag and drop files to it. So let me just do it. I will just copy default pictures that we have on Windows 7. We may now burn those files by clicking on burn to disk button. It already have my title that I set it up earlier. And when it comes to speed, please leave it by default and just click on next button to start burning to ISO file. It will take just a couple of seconds. Now those files are burned into that disk, so we can now easily open them and access them just like it would be on a normal optical disk in computer screen. Now we can unmount it by clicking onto it and choosing unmount button. I will just mount the same image to make sure that file we just created is working correctly. I can do it by clicking on mount button, choosing virtual CD DVD ROM and specifying the path to the file we just created. So it's already mounted. Now we can easily open it again from computer window. When we will open it, we can access all of the pictures from what I have burned earlier. Therefore, we may proceed further. First, let me just unmount it again. Next on our list is virtual disk image. Therefore, let me first start with creating new virtual disk image. So later we may also mount it again. Here, on the new window, we can specify the size of that new disk. We need to also choose where we want to save it. I will just leave it in my documents and name it disk file. We may also choose if we want to encrypt our disk by any password. If you wish to do it, just check disk box 
and provide password and in those boxes and click OK. Later, when you will be mounting such image, you will need to provide the exact same password, otherwise you won't be able to access your files. So please remember your password and click on OK button to continue. As we can see, our new disk is already mounted, but we need to format it because when we open computer window, we are not able to see new drive. Therefore, first we need to navigate to disk management. We can do it by right clicking on computer and choosing manage. From computer management screen, we need to click on the disk management on the left side panel. And here at the very beginning, we will be prompt that we need to initialize our disk. We can do it by clicking on OK. Now we just need to format our drive. We can do it by right clicking on our new disk and choosing new simple volume. Then just follow the wizard by clicking on next button. Now the drive is being formatted. After it will finish, we will be able to access our new drive directly from the computer screen. Formatting process is finished. As we can see, Explorer is already prompting that it found new drive. We may now open it and copy files we want to it. Let me again copy default Windows 7 pictures. After I copy all the pictures, I will just unmount the drive by clicking on it and pressing on unmount button. Now let me mount it again by clicking on mount button and choosing existing virtual disk image. From here we need to navigate to our file and again pressing on open button. Our drive has been successfully mounted and we don't need to format it again. We can easily open it directly from autoplay window. Our pictures are already here. Nothing bad happened to them. You may use this virtual disk image file to copy and move a large amount of data. That is very great feature that we may use here is to encrypt whole file so no one without knowing proper password can access such file. Next on our list is VHD file. VHD stands for virtual hard disk file. So let me now create a new one by choosing new VHD file option from the mount menu. Similar to the virtual disk image file, we need to specify our disk size and choose where we wish to save it. The only difference is that we can directly encrypt the file from the total mounter. Yet again, similar to image file, we need to also to navigate to disk management and format our disk again before we will be able to use it for the first time. So first, we need to initialize iDisk. Then we need to create new partition on it by just following new simple volume wizard and wait for it to be formatted. Formatting process is finished, therefore we may again access our new volume, same as last time. This time let me again copy pictures onto it. And we can now unmount it. 
let me try it again. Okay. I wasn't able to unout it earlier because Windows was still accessing that drive. Now let me mount that drive again by clicking on mount button and choosing existing VHD file, selecting our VHD test file and placing, pressing on open button. We can now easily access it and open any pictures or any other files that we have copied onto it. The main difference between VHD and IMG file is that we can't easily encrypt it using Total Mounter. We would need to use third party software, but we can still partition it and format it as you want, just like a normal hard drive. It is always very convenient to use one file instead of multiple files. We can still notice that we have two more options to cover and that is iSCSI and INADISC option. iSCSI will allow us to connect to iSCSI targets then the dual monitor will work as an iSCSI initiator. When it comes to INET disk, you may use this feature as an INET disk client and connect to INET disk server. I will show how to use those two last options in upcoming video tutorial. Thank you for your attention. That is all I have prepared for today. And talk to you soon.